This is a short video that's going to go over the hepatitis B serologies. We're going to be talking about three of the serological markers that are used in diagnosing hepatitis B and how they are interpreted. The three markers that we're going to be talking about are the core antibody for hepatitis B. That's the first one here in blue, HBCAB, that's the core antibody. Next is the surface antigen in red here hepatitis B surface antigen, and lastly is the surface antibody in green here. That's the third row, surface antibody for hepatitis B. On the bottom here, we have a plot of these serological markers over time after a person is exposed. We have the three serologic markers in the same colors that they're indicated in the table above. So the, so the surface antigen is in red, the core antibody is in blue, and the surface antibody is in green. It's important to note that this chart on the bottom is for a person who had an acute infection that did clear. So not all of the conditions, these are the conditions up here, these six conditions are gonna be able to be represented on this chart because this person cleared the hepatitis B virus. So it's, I think the easiest way to understand what these markers mean is with the one word description that's listed in the second column. So the core antibody, HBCAB, indicates that a person has been exposed to hepatitis B. The surface antigen, HBSAG, indicates that a person has been infected with hepatitis B. And lastly, the Surface antibody indicates that a person is immune to hepatitis B. And using these three words, these one word descriptions of these three markers, it's easy to fill in the rest of the chart and it's easy to answer any kind of question that comes up uh, regarding lab results and, uh, and, and if you're given the values for these three markers. So let's try to fill in the rest of the chart. We have acute infection in this, in this dark yellow here. A person who has been acutely infected has been exposed to the virus. That's how they got the virus to begin with. So it's going to be positive for the core antibody. They are infected. Uh, it says acutely infected. So it makes sense that they're also positive for the surface antigen. So that's also a positive in the next row but they're not immune yet. The body has not started producing surface antibody during this early acute infection phase. So the surface antibody is negative. They're not immune. Next is this window period as indicated on the table or on the, on the, on the chart right here. This window period is a little interesting because the body or the hepatitis B antigen has been cleared, but the antibody for the surface has not yet started to increase. So during this window period, if we look at the chart, we see that the person has been exposed. They have been uh, exposed and the core antibody that the body makes that stays there forever is positive. They're no longer infected. The antigen went down but they're not yet immune either. So the surface antibody is still negative. For chronic infection, somebody who has been chronically infected has been exposed, so the core antibody is positive. They have been infected and they still are infected during a chronic infection. So surface antigen is positive, but they are not immune. If a person has a chronic infection to hepatitis B, then the body was not able to clear the virus and the surface antibody would be negative. A remote infection that has been cleared uh, is shown in this section right here. Now for a remote infection, a person has been exposed, so the core antibody is positive. They are no longer infected because the antigen went away. The surface antigen is negative. The infection was cleared and the person is immune. And you could see this is the line indicating that a person is immune or at least becoming to be immune during the cleared remote infection stage. So the surface antibody is positive. Now, if you were to get an immunization to hepatitis B, you would never have been exposed. So the core antibody would be negative. You would never have been infected. That's the point of the immunization. So the surface antigen is negative, but you would be immune. It's an immunization. So the surface antibody would be positive. 
Now, somebody who's had the disease uh, many years ago and is now an inactive chronic carrier was at one point exposed. That's indicated by this line here. After an acute infection, many, many months after the virus has cleared. So they were exposed. The core antibody is positive. The surface antigen is negative. They are no longer infected. And the surface antibody even went away because it's been so long since they've been infected. So there's a negative for the surface antibody as well. This has been a short video explaining the hepatitis B serologies. I hope it was helpful.